big deal. Good luck with that speech tonight. Uh, just a prayer. Just a prayer. I got the daddy-daughter dance. I'm a little worried about. <laughs> Are you married? Okay. All right. Cool. Very good. How long ago? Okay. Cool. And y'all played baseball in high school together or something or what? College. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Roommate guy in the front. Yeah. Brother. Yeah. I can't believe it's people real. This is real, like you. It's real, right? <laughs> Take my dad's away. I love you. Don't cry. Love you, sissy. Love you. Enjoy it, ladies.
us pause for a moment to ask God's blessing upon this day. So please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we know that you are here because your people are assembled here. And you live in us. And you live through us. And Father, you desire to live through these two who stand before us to celebrate their love. We thank you, Lord, for that you are going to do through them. We pray that this will be the beginning of something incredible for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. Who is it that gives this woman away to be wed to this man? Her mother and I. Young man. <laughs> special, special. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Right. Good, good job. Hey. Look so good. <clears throat> I've already cried too much. I'm cured my phone, but that was kind. <laughs> I want to take a moment and let everyone know how honored I am to be a part of not only this beautiful ceremony, but I am truly honored to be a part of the memory of this day in the lives of Jaden Tipton and Hannah Grob. Jaden and Hannah, today is the day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad and rejoice in it. So I would like to say something to each of you personally. Jaden. I want you to know how proud I am of you. Seeing a young man take the right steps in the right order. It's a very rare thing. And God is going to honor you for putting his commandments first. You have direction. You have focus. And you are being an example to your siblings to look up to. Not only are you extending the tip to name, but proud as well. Keep seeking God first, nephew, and he will make your path straight. Amen? Amen. Love you. Love you too. Oh, Miss Hannah. When you walked into my home, I had no idea because nowadays young adults tend not to take relationships so seriously. But when we sat down together, and talked, I could see the maturity and the love for God in your life, and that you as well are a woman of integrity. I, I am so thankful that God, that he made you just for my nephew. And you are a blessing to us all, and we love you. Dear friends and family, we are here gathered here in the presence of God, family and friends, to make official what has already been confirmed in the hearts of Jaden Tipton and Hannah Grob by bringing them together in marriage. <clears throat> Jesus said, I have come that my people might have life and that they might have life more abundantly. God wants to show us all that the ability for the abundance of life belongs to us and that it is obtained by both believing and giving. Jaden and Hannah both believe that God had created someone special for each of them. And here we are today as they give their lives to one another. Jaden and Tipton, I mean Jaden Tipton has found love in Hannah Groff, and Hannah has found love in Jaden. Their hearts and spirits were drawn together before today by the Lord of all creation. This is important to us because two lives are not united in just ceremony, but first in the power of love and grace of God. The Bible teaches us that marriage is to be a permanent relationship between one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Originally in the garden, God made man and he made woman. He said, it is not good for man to be alone. So I will give him a helpmate. 
Man and woman are not complete without one another. So Jaden and Hannah are complete when they are together. In 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 8, it says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth. Bears all things. Believes all things. And hopes all things. And it also endures all things. The three pillars of the Christian life are faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love because love never fails. So I pray the love you have for one another never fails. This scripture can be summed up by saying that love isn't based on whims, feelings, or even past emotions. But love is rock solid and will endure all things. So will the love that Jan, Jaden and Hannah have for one another be rock solid and without fail? Amen. Amen. No matter what adversities you will face or seasons you will walk through, it is the love that you have for one another and the love that you have for God that will see you through together. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual communication and commitment and responsibility. When a companion shares a sorrow, the sorrow is halved. When they share a joy, the joy is doubled. Love is about giving, not just receiving. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. To make a successful marriage, each one must be a giver. Learn to, learn to tell each other how much you love one another and appreciate each other and never take each other for granted. Now, I'm just going to tell you, Hannah, you know, over, over time, and that's my wife, she's going to test this. My nephew is not going to be the strapping young man he once was like he is today. <laughs> okay? So, as the years go by, because things change. Even on the outer appearance. So, just remember. Okay? <laughs> and I know, but we also have to remember that the same, the same things that caused you to fall in love with each other needs to be the same continued thing to keep you in love with each other. Remember that. <sighs> Here we go. Jada tipped him. Do you have a ring to present to Hannah Groff as a token and sign of your commitment to her? I do. <laughs> After all the words of wisdom that have been spoken and all the preparations that have taken but may be together. Jaden, please take Hannah by the left hand. There you go. <laughs> she gave me her right hand. I always get confused. Okay, Jaden. Do you, Jaden Tipton, take Hannah Groff to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. <clears throat> then repeat after me. I, Jaden Tipton. I, Jaden Tipton. Do take Hannah Groff. Do take Hannah Groff. To be my wife. Be my wife. I will commit myself to her happiness. I will commit myself to her happiness. To her, to your self fulfillment as a person. To your self fulfillment, fulfillment as a person. And to your usefulness in the kingdom of God. And to your usefulness in the kingdom of God. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Trust you. Trust you. And serve you. And serve you. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. 
for richer or poor for richer or poor to be true and loyal to be true and loyal to you until death do us part to you until death do us part you may place the ring on her finger Let this ring always bring remembrance to the vows sworn today. Before we go to Hannah, Hannah has something she would like to say. <laughs> you do? I don't know about that. This is... I know we already did our vows, but I wrote you something. In 2013, to my future husband, I think about you often. Have our paths already crossed? Have we bumped into each other at the grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> no way, you wrote that. <laughs> <My dad. laughs> no way, you wrote that. You're kidding, right? <laughs> wow. Are you taller than me, or I'm going to be looking down at you? <laughs> well, you didn't get that one. So. I pray for you still, your mental health, your spiritual walk, your physical being. I pray God is holding your hand through every battle. Or if you haven't met him yet, I hope he is planning something huge for you. I pray that God is working in me as well. I pray he gives me the patience to be able to wait for you when the time is right. I pray that we will be able to have a lasting marriage filled with the Holy Spirit and that you love Jesus more than you love me. I pray we are able to seek his love together and walk side by side for the rest of our lives. I want you to know you can always come to me in times of worry, stress, sadness, excitement, and any other emotion. I have always loved you and I will never stop praying for us. Love, Hannah. Amen. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Ain't no way you put the grocery store in there. Thank you, HB. <laughs> All right. Hannah Graw, do you have a ring to present to Jane and Tipton as a token and sign of your commitment to him? <laughs> Good one. Hannah Graw. Do you take Jaden Tipton to be your husband? I do. Then repeat after me. I, Hannah Graw. I, Hannah Graw. Do take you, Jaden Tipton. Do take you, Jaden Tipton. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will commit myself to your happiness. I will commit myself to your happiness. To your self fulfillment as a person. To your self fulfillment as a person and to your usefulness in the kingdom of God. And to your usefulness. And to your usefulness. In the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God. <laughs> I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Trust you. Trust you. And serve you. And serve you. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. And to be true and loyal. And to be true and loyal. To you until death do us part. To you until death do us part. You may place the ring on his finger. Let this ring always bring to remembrance these vows one here today. Jaden and Hannah Groff have chosen to express the love they have for one another with the time of the court. According to Ecclesiastes 4.12, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three, strand is not quickly broken. One strand represents the bride, one strand represents the groom, and the other strand represents God. Jaden and Hannah will braid the strand together to represent starting a life together with God in the middle. God is an important part of their lives, and they believe the success of their marriage is with God in the center. Okay, 
I'm like a death grip on you. <laughs> I don't feel like this is real still. You know that, right? Yeah, I like I'm looking at you and you look like a ghost. Like, oh, we just go. Like a ghost. <laughs> you do it. I messed up one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today, we don't come to join just the hearts of Jaden and Hannah, but also two families. These two families came together as separate family units, but today are joined as one happy family. Jaden and Hannah, Jesse and Barbara Tipton, Matt and Christy Ross, even though you have lived as family, loved as family, and called each other family, today you all officially become family, and the love you have for each other will live forever. I want to say here today how proud I am of Jaden and Hannah, that they have both faced adversity in their lives as we all do, and yet had the courage to press forward, to come to this place here today. It is apparent that Jaden and Hannah share a deep love for one another, but it is also apparent as to the greatness that is in both of them. When I look at each of you, I see two strong, loving people who make each other better. I want to have a moment of prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time and I thank you for this day. I thank you for the blessings that you have brought to us for this gathering, this moment, this beautiful moment, Lord. And I pray that all of us here today, Lord, are able to share in this moment with Jaden and Hannah as they make their commitment to you, Lord, and to each other, and that they will always remember this time, this moment, in the good times and in the bad times, Lord. So, Father, I pray a hedge of protection over them today, that you will send your angels ahead of them to watch over them and guide them. Let them always turn to you first, Lord, because we pray above all for your will to be done in their lives. So right now, Lord, we give you thanks and praise and all the glory that comes with it, Lord, for these two here today. In Jesus' name. And everybody said? Amen. Amen. Could I have everybody please stand? Here we go. Since Jaden Tipton and Hannah Groff have made these commitments before God and this assembly, By the authority of God and the state of Texas, I now declare that Jaden Tipton and Hannah Groff are husband and wife. They are no longer two independent people, but one, and what God has joined together, let no man separate. Jaden, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
know, I started crying. My dad was like, look at this Let's go! Give me the ring. I look at him. I go. We're gonna move. Dance. Woo! Hey, brother. So weird. Ah. <laughs> oh, just a little. <laughs> yeah. It's good.